What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Two, and I'm back at you again. You already know, with another video. Let's get right into it, shall we? Everybody hit that like button, that share button, and that subscribe button. All the people who gang stalk you at your job are going to suffer financial karma this year. Let's talk about it. All the people who gang stalked you at your jobs are going to suffer financial karma this year. You reap what you sow. What you put out into the universe must come back to you. All the people who gang stalked you at your job are going to suffer financial karma this year. The people who made it difficult for you to work and do your job, they are going to suffer financial karma this year. All the people who laughed at you, made you uncomfortable. All the people, what's up angels? All the people who just wanted to make, uh, uh, make it difficult for you to do your job. They are going to suffer financial karma this year. People made it harder for you to do your job. All the people who stood around and watched as you struggled. Watched as you did all the work. Watched as they left things out, didn't put things back, used them perfectly, purposely, left it out just for you. Those people are going to suffer financial karma this year. They outside smoking a cigarette while you inside washing dishes, preparing food, sweeping the floor, mopping the floor, cleaning countertops, taking out trash. They out there holding court talking about you and you inside doing all the work. Those people are going to suffer financial karma this year. You know what they were out there talking about. How can we get rid of her? She in there, she's working too hard. She's out working us. She's running circles around us. We need to get her out of here. Same thing for you, fellas. We need to get him out of here. He can open, close, mid-shift, fry machine, uh, broiler, uh, cash, the cash register. The cash, the cash register, drive through. People like you more. The customers like you more than them, and you just got there. Customers treating you like they knew you your whole entire life. And then people at that job with that slave mentality, upset because you just naturally attract people, and people just gravitate towards you. Upset as hell, mad, disturbed. And now, because they don't get the same response you get, now they want to get a reaction from you. All right, now they want to make it harder for you to do your job. All the people who gang stalked you at your job <clears throat> are going to suffer financial karma this year. You're trying to walk around. You're trying to do your job. These people are haunting you at work. You can't even you can't even put things away without people getting in your way who aren't even working they aren't even doing their job what are they getting paid to do they're getting paid to watch you and report to the manager why do you think you always see these people talking with the manager and not working why is it so hard for you to talk to the manager you can't even say not one word to the manager and you feel like you're walking on eggshells they, they're trying to put you back into an elementary school mindset Manager walking around looking at you like this. And, and you're doing your job. They're making sure you're doing everything right. And the first mistake you make, here he come. Pew! And when you got a question for him, they're so, they're so far away. And then you're gone. And, uh, when you got a question for him, they're so far away. Them people are gone when you got a question for them. Okay, they pee out. Yo, where'd the manager go? And you walking around trying to figure it out. And then we saw you on camera today walking around. And you didn't you didn't look like you uh you didn't look like you were working today. 
I was looking for y'all. I'm trying to find you guys so I could so I could know what I'm doing. Well, you've been here for enough time. You should know what you're doing. If this keeps up, then uh, we don't know what we're gonna have to do. Um, I I don't I don't know. Just make sure we don't do. Just make sure we don't keep this up. All right. No. <laughs> okay. Fake ass. All right. These people are going to pay. They're going to suffer financial karma this year. All right. People walking around stalking you. Stalk getting paid on the clock. Getting paid dollars to harass. To 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 bring pain. To bring worry. Okay, they got they got you worried. They got you worried about if you're gonna keep your job, whether whether you gotta find a new job. All right, they got you worried about um, whether you could even come back to this place tomorrow, because these things lead into depression. You go to the manager to talk about it, nothing happens. You you now realize that this is just your work environment. What are you going to do? How can you fix this? That that when, when a person doesn't have answers, when a person doesn't know what to do, this leads to depression. This leads to a person not wanting to come back to work. You're such a good worker. You're such a great employee that they fear you even coming into the damn job. They don't even want you there. You work so good. And this has happened at multiple jobs for you. Because all you all you want, just like the other YouTube video I made the other day, all you want to do is do your best. And here they come to bring you stress. All you want to do is do your best. You outworking the manager. You outworking the big boss. Them people, yo, them people that even come to visit the job be trying to keep up with you. People, they, they, they you, 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 you've been here. You only been here five minutes. I've heard. We, they've heard about you. They've been watching you on the camera. Now they get to see you in person. And they don't like how they feel. And now they back there talking to the big boy. You know you need to get rid of her. You know, you know you need to, you know you need to get rid of him. You know it. You keep him here, they he, he gonna have all our jobs. They in straight fear. For 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 fear. For 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 fear. They in straight fear. Everybody afraid. Okay? Per people don't even work there. Damn, I'm sure. I hope I I hope he don't take my job. You don't even work here. Man, you just don't know. All right? So, these people, right, that gang stalked you at your job, they're going to suffer financial karma. You came, you even prayed for some of these people before you came to work. You just got the job. God, God bless everybody. I hope we have a good day. Well, this is you the first couple weeks, maybe the first week. God, I hope we have a good day at work. Hope God bless everybody. I hope everybody gets to work safe. Hope everybody has a productive day at work. God bless the manager, all the employees, the people shopping there. God bless everybody, the people that clean the store when we open, the people that are there to clean when we close. God bless everybody, the openers, the closers, the customers, everybody. Even that old lady that only come there once a, uh, uh, once a day that's always mean and trying to get in my business. God bless her too, okay? God, God bless her too. Her too. She can she can she can get a blessing as well. Okay. And yo, by by the third, fourth, or fifth week, man, these people have you going home and doing the total opposite. All right, they 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 have you they now now you, you gotta hit them with the fire from heaven prayers because they're stalking you around the job, not trying to let you have peace around the job. You don't want to tell me your business, now now you're my enemy. You won't Allow me to have easy access into your life and world to just use the information to destroy you anyway. Now we're going to destroy you anyway. What sense does that make? They want you to help them in the aid of your destruction. Okay. They want you to, they want you to help them in the aid of your destruction. They want you to self-sabotage. All you want to do is work. All they want to do is stalk and they're getting paid to do it. All right, these people are getting paid to stalk, and it never made sense on why I would be working and why the manager would be talking to the person at the job who I don't like because that's the person that's stalking me. That's the person I want to slap in the back of the head if they walk in front of me and cut me off one more time down this aisle that we all have to walk in and put things away. Why couldn't you go on the other side? Why did you have to immediately hurry up to get in front of me? And try to cut me off. 
So I would purposely see the, the that that hot dog in the back of your head. I'm about to grab a bun and some ketchup out the break room because I've been staring at this little fat nugget of, of meat in the back of your neck for the past 35 minutes because you keep walking in front of me. All right. Or you or you looking at somebody's uh, uh, poorly done braids. Somebody like these people don't even look fly when they get in front of you. Crust all on them, uh, 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 hair all all out of order. Okay, you you not even gonna look in the mirror before you try to stalk somebody. You you not even gonna try to get right before you stalk somebody. Usually when people is they uh, not right, they be all right. Yep, mm -hmm, all right. I'm, I'll keep it moving. Like you got the wrong you 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 got the wrong shoes on. You supposed to be fast walking, and you fast stalking. It doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. This math is not mathing. Okay, this math ain't mathin' here. Math ain't mathin'. So these people, they're gonna suffer financially because they wanted you to lose your job. They wanted you to they, they wanted to put you under that pressure, under ordinance from the boss. Stalk him. Make him not come back. Usually it's because and, and this is some of the reasons why it's happened to me. There have been females at the job that the boss has a secret relationship with. And when I get there, now that female is interested in me. And she's, hi, Drew. All, all in my business, I'm just trying. And I, all, I already done peaked the scene. I already know what's up. All right. I know that the, the uh, ball head manager, you can see his thoughts, okay, who hairline is going all the way back to 19. Uh, uh, 57 and uh, uh, he's trying to maintain his little piece of heaven with the young lady at the job and it's like bro I see that that's your little love Jones I see that's your work wife just let me do my job so I could come uh, go to work uh, and and go home all right all I want to do just want to go to work and come home so now this dude now these people are worried that you're going to take that little love Jones, that little work hubby, and, and, and she already got a dude outside of work because these people, you know, they like to put their business out there. She already got somebody. So it's like, why would I want to be involved in that already? That's too much. She already got somebody. You talking to her at work. I'm good. I, all, I want, all I really want to do is just put, put, put these boxes away and do what I got to do. All I really want to do is sweep the floor and get out. All I really want to do is make these sandwiches and bounce. All I really want to do is do my little security check and bounce. That's it. All right? If, if, if you, you, you need to get your work wife, man, or whatever the heck you got going on. And when these people have see that there's interest, now they get they get worried that somebody's going to take their little love day. So now they get, they've, they've got people stalking me around the job because... He wants me to quit because he feels that I'm a threat to his little uh, work situation shit. All right. Nobody is, is even worried about that. All right. You, you're not even paying me enough to want to wanna be there that often around the, the people that long. Think about it. Just want to go there and exit the door and leave with my job. Just like how when I came to work. That's all. But they'll 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 do it for the weirdest reasons, and it's like once I once I realize I'm like, bro, that's that like that that's why that happened. I'm like, that's weird. Other times it's happened for other reasons than that, but a lot of times it'll just be for weird petty reasons. People just won't want you there. All right, and they they're they're suffering on the inside because they feel some type of way just because you're there, just because you're around them. Before you worked there, they were able to be themselves. They were able, they were able to feel comfortable. They were a, were able to walk around with confidence. And now, when certain people get around them, they don't know how to maintain that confidence. So because they can't maintain their confidence, and you're there, and they feel that you're the result or you're the reason why they don't have any confidence anymore, they feel they got to get you out of there. So now, for whatever threat, whatever threat you pose or for whatever reason they don't like you or want to get you out of there now they're going to conduct uh get other people to stalk you follow you make it difficult for you to do your job all right um get in your way all types of weird stuff just try to make you frustrated while you're just trying to do your job all things to make you not want to come back
<clears throat> all things to make you not want to come back. So for these foolish reasons, for these petty reasons, for these 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 dumb idiotic things, they're going to suffer. All right, these people made uh, these people made people quit jobs because of this. People have uh, left. And, and going into depression because of this, because it's happened at more than one job. People are going into jobs expecting this type of behavior from people. People are, aren't able to keep jobs long because they see this type of behavior and they see this to these types of people. They see these types of spirits and they just, they just want to leave and, 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 and not work there because they already know where it's going to go. They already know what's going to happen. They can, they can see it coming from a mile ahead. So these people, the people that treat people like this, they're going to suffer financially and it's going to happen this year. All right. They are going to suffer financial karma this year. What they put out is going to come back to them and they're going to have to suffer the result of their own fate because you shouldn't be uh, wishing bad on people. You should be, if anything, you should just be wanting the best for yourself, just like you should want the best for everybody else and vice versa. You should want the best for everybody else just like you want the best for yourself. And if you don't, shame on you and whatever you wish bad on, that bad, unfortunately, you're, you're basically just drawing it to yourself. So with that being said, they're going to suffer financial karma because they wanted, they wanted their victims to suffer financially. They wanted their victims to suffer mentally. They wanted their victims to suffer health-wise. All right, all all these these negative things they wanted to happen to people who had no issue with them, done them no wrong, or or uh, wish them any ill will. All out of just pure negativity. All right, so everybody hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. All right, these and and you're going to be okay. Your finances are going to be okay. You already know God is there for you, but just a forewarning. For the people that have uh, done you bad in the past, their time is coming and they are going to receive financial karma. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.